Natty at 45. Tsunami. Staff spec. Onslaught. Go. It's working. Look at it! Look at it! I'm getting... So all those, those 5k hits are all auto attacks. Oh my god! Okay, we do it in challenge mode. We do it in challenge mode. I'm guessing we can we can wipe challenge mode Vindy. He's got 600k life points. Go. And blood rush. Where are the heals? They're not that good, actually. Oh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Wait, I'm fully I'm full of dren. I'm literally full of dren. Watch this. I'm full of dren. Holy Stay, 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 stay. I'm gonna die here. But are you kidding me? We did a 350,000 damage onslaught. What's going on guys? Welcome to this absolute insanity of a video. The Fractured Staff of Armadale special attack is very interesting. How it works is whenever you roll a critical strike, you can generate an auto attack. But if that auto attack were to crit as well, it would then generate another auto attack. So the premise of this video is using barrage autos that have a 3x3 three three radius, stacking a bunch of targets underneath a boss, and then creating an infinite loop of critical strikes, where your crit generates another crit that generates another crit, and you end up being able to deal an absolutely game-breaking amount of damage. We were able to get up to 2 million damage per minute, and we also dropped Angel of Death by 500,000 life points in exactly 1.2 seconds. Before we get into the video, I did want to say that this method has been patched. It does not work anymore. And as of right now, the Fractured Staff of Armadale Special Attack is slightly underperforming what it's supposed to, because what they did to fix it is they made it so that auto attacks cannot crit themselves to prevent this specific instance. They're looking into how to rebalance it to make it both good, but not game breaking. And in the meantime, there will not be a full staff testing video as I need to wait for them to finish making the special attack work. All that being said though, the day that we were able to play around with this staff while it was broken was absolutely insane. And I've got the highlights for you guys right now. So here's how it works guys. The staff spec, the, the crits it gives you can crit themselves. So if I staff spec right now, hold up, let me get rid of my familiar. Dismiss now. Cool. If I staff spec right now and I get one auto like that, those two autos are now critting themselves. So they are infinite. I am currently not attacking. Those two autos are infinite. It looks like I'm attacking. It's playing an animation, but this is an infinite. It's an infinite loop for the full period. Go. I'm stunned. Go. God, we're gonna slow this one down because it happened way too quickly. What we did is we piled a dummy in the middle of the room as well as all of the minions. And the majority of the team here is not attacking. They were attacking to phase the boss, but not past that point. And as you can see, as I use the staff spec, you can tell when I roll my first critical strike because as soon as I do, Angel of Death's life points drop by about 100,000 instantly. And as you can see, those crits are continuing to crit themselves and it's building up even further. In a second here, you're gonna watch AOD's life points drop by about 400,000 in one game tick. Ready? And gone. Completely in a singular game tick. Uh, you can also look at my DPM on the right hand side of my rune metrics. It is actually maxed out at 2 million. And that is pretty much the primary reason why they had to make some changes with the staff. It instantly wiped all four of the minions on the exact same game tick, and it completely skipped the entire middle phase of the boss. Done. That's it. That's actually it. If we get the hits here, this is done. This is it. Oh my god, go! 16 seconds. That was actually perfect. I think you could get even faster. With good luck, I think you can insta-snap two phases. Ready? 
Go. 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 It works! Let's go! It worked! I'm so freaking excited we did it! Oh my god! That took way too long to set up. I am trash at this boss. That was so cool! Alrighty, we did it. We did it, boys. You know what's funny, too? Like, that's consistent as well. Like, if you actually do what you're doing, you could literally do that every time. Oh, I can. Is he there? Is he in? He's in. He's in. He's in. He's in. They're all dead. I'm taking this. I don't care. They died too fast. Are you kidding me? They literally died too quickly. That's amazing. Oh my god, you see that? So the autos critted themselves there. If you're wondering why that just it happened again there. Oh my god. If you have crit chance with this staff, you are living the dream. It's so powerful. That's gonna work. Let's go. This is it. Pog, black hole, eat. Go, go, unlimited power. Look at this preface. What the hell is that preface? It's 190k, the minions are still out. The boss is even bold. Oh my goodness. Okay, just doing the math in my head here. I think if I Tsunami drop a dummy underneath Solak and then Onslaught, I might be able to get a solo No Realm, which is something that's never been done before. So this would be a world first solo No Realm. And the whole rotation would literally just be drop a dummy, Tsunami, Smoke Cloud, Vuln, Onslaught. But we'll see if it actually works out like that. Hopefully it does. So. This is going to be a really, really high effort P4 from, from you, okay? So here's okay. what you're going to do oh. on P4. I'm going to take a nap? Nothing. You're just going to stand there. Perfect. Yeah. Very excited about that. Oh, I dropped the dummy in the wrong spot. Okay, this is not going to work. Yeah, this is super not going to work. I dropped the dummy in the wrong spot. And still got it to 30k! Oh my god, okay, we're gonna get a solar realm. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's actually gonna work. No shot. This might work, but it might not. We'll see. It'll be fine. Okay, ready? Go. I can't tell if the dummy's working. I can't tell, but I'm not losing a dren. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. This is it. This is gonna be a solo realm. Go. Go, please. Please. Let's go! Solo no realm! World first! Solo no realm! Done! I have no idea how they're going to manage to balance it in such a way that it's strong enough to be useful and worth the 50% adrenaline cost, but not so powerful that it can potentially break the game. But I'm certainly glad they hotfixed it yesterday because although it was an absolute ton of fun to play around with, it's probably not great for the game to be able to trivialize any phase of any boss fight by simply pressing the onslaught button.